Right, it's Peter Cuz, Jake Smith, Unit 15, P2M1, describe and explain health and safety considerations. Right, lads, off we go. Well, first thing, the first aid kit. Um, a first aid kit is important in case a client falls and injures himself. Then a first aid kit is there to calm or help minor, slightly major injuries. It all, it's also there if it has to be stored in a clear place where it can be seen and grabbed quickly if needed. The main purpose for the first aid kit is to aid injured clients. For example, a client may be on the treadmill and they might lose their balance and fall off the treadmill and graze their legs and arms and they might need to see and, and get first aid treatment from the manager or coach. Good, next uh, one. Second will be health and safety signs. Health and safety signs are important when in a sporting environment as they can protect people from serious injuries. Uh, if there's, for example, if there's a spillage of water in the gym and nobody knew about it, and they could slip and bang the head, causing concussion. However, if there were a wet floor sign indicating that spillage was there, it could prevent the injury. There's other signs like danger here, fire exits and fire alarms, also protect harm. The fire exit and the fire alarm signs help people get out of danger and stop the danger from getting worse. It's really important for stopping people from getting hurt and injured. And the next one is starting where it's proper and safely. Storing weights are important in the gym, as if they're not stored away properly on the rack, then another gym member could trip over them or stub their toe, causing an injury. Like, for example, medicine balls would be stored on the rack, so no one would trip over them and fall over in the gym. Okay. Good. Uh, next one will be fire alarms or fire extinguishers. Fire alarms and extinguishers are important in case of a fire happening. happening. A fire alarm is there to sound a time to evacuate the building. Also, to make people aware of the situation. Uh, also, an induction for the client to show them around the building where the fire alarms are always helps. The next one is induction for client. An induction for the client is important because you need to be able to get to know the client. And also for health and safety reasons, you need to know the correct techniques so the client doesn't start, me, doesn't, doesn't start doing the exercise and injuring themselves. Having an introduction with the client will make the client feel more comfortable around in the surroundings, which will help them in time. Also, an induction for a client could in include a PyQ questionnaire. What does that stand for? Physical Activity Readiness Questionnaire. Good. Which helps them find out if they're ready for the gym or exercise or whatever session they're doing. Good. Uh, the, the last one would be risk assessment. So risk assessment is important because the risk assessment are done to minimise or eliminate hazards and risks for occurring. Uh, they also to make sure the coaches or the gym managers are covered if anything happens to the players or the clients and it will not be classed as negligent for causing harm. It's important as well to dump, but if it's done properly then it prevents an injury or maybe fatal death. Uh, risk is a chance of high or low that somebody could be harmed by these and other hazards together which will indicate how serious the harm could be. Good, right. Which six have you picked then? Just tell me the three you did, Peter. Uh, the first aid kit, the starting weights properly and safely, and the induction for clients. So what might be in a first aid kit then? A uh, bandage, plasters, the client in case you like to fall over and just cut yourself. Right, okay. Then what qualifications might you need to have to administer the first aid? Um, be able to do CPR and just like first First aid things, making sure people are okay. Right, and good. Um, and then what about with the induction? What would you do with, in an induction with a client? Well, I just take them through things to make sure that they're okay, like the PyQ questionnaire, and see if they're ready for it and make them feel comfortable so they know you are. And, and then what about the equipment? What might you show them? Well, I show them how to use it and show them how to use it properly and safely on their own, independently. Good. Uh, good. What three did you pick, Jake? Uh, health and safety signs, uh, fire alarms, and the risk assessments. Right, so if you were doing a risk assessment in the college gym, give us two things that you'd be looking out for. Uh, any like equipment that left out from last thing before, and if any of them, like machines are broke, make sure they're not well, broke. Spillages. Yes. Spillages. And then what would you do if you did find a broken machine? Uh, either contact the administrator or try and fix it yourself if you're qualified to do it.
Yeah. Right, and also spillage as yeah. So if there's a spillage on the floor, what would you put out? Probably safety cover. Yeah. Right, good. Right, and which of those do you think is the most important to have done out of those six you've chosen? Probably risk assessment. Yeah, right, why is that then? Because it's, it's done to prevent harm and from risk happening if they keep occurring over and over again. Yeah, it ensures the safety of the participants taking place in the sessions. And the right, anything else to add, lads, on that? No. no?